So welcome to video 12. Um, no more to do on the deck. It's looking pretty sparse at the moment, um, but it won't by the end of this video. So we've got um, the stanchions and everything done all around. Now we need to move on and got the fenders to do around the sides and the windows and everything, the steps up the sides, the windows at the back. So we'll crack on and do all that. So we'll start with the hawser hole projections, which are these bits here. It shows one on top of the other. So there should be two pieces on the um, half a millimetre plywood, but as you can see, so it should be these two pieces here, 74, 75, but on the actual plywood there's only two. Two are missing. So um, I just crack on and cut these out of some uh, some strip wood that I've got. We'll have to stain them down. So there we are. I just cut two little pieces. And just cut those to go in. Go in there and I'll stick in. And then the other one on top, one on the other side. That's it. So the next bit to go in are these side hole rivets, which are just for the running rigging. It's just two little squares of um, one, one by four. So they're just going one on each side. So the next bit to do with the fenders, that's these pieces here. And we just need to cut one piece to go in between the warps and another piece over the top. And it's one by three. So for this you just need to get the measurements of where they go. You can either measure it off the plan or just lay the plan on top. Put a mark, measure it, put a mark where they, where they need to go. As it happens, this one's right to the side of the gun port, so we'll just put it right up to it like that. Makes it easy, but the same both sides. And then we can just measure the distance between the two now. That gives us our second position. Okay, so I decided I didn't like the camera over the top, so I put it back down the side again. I was working upside down half the time, you were looking at it upside down half the time, so uh, let's just stick to this. Clip on a straight edge so you've got something to work to, and you'll get the uh, you'll get them nice and straight. The 
middle bit you will have to bend a little bit but you can do it dry it's only just a slight curve on it but it'll just give you a better finish if you just put a bit of a curve on it And then the top strip, again this you got to bend, just to get a really good fit, just cut it to length, chamfer the ends off and then just uh, clamp it round. Okay, so we've got those done on the sides. I put the camera back at the side. I'm not sure. Where. You have to put in the comments if you think this is better or the overhead view. But this is easier to work with. So we've got these on now. It's a detail coming on, and the next step is to put the steps on the sides, which I already cut last night. A bit low with that one. Okay, helps to be ambidextrous as well. and come back. Right this next bit's jumped on a bit because uh, the camera wasn't on but anyway we're doing the um, gallery windows so they're just cut out of the uh, satin cloth that you get and then it's just one by one wood stuck around the edges. These are sticky back so uh, they stick straight onto the to the back here. So these are the shelves, there's four of them. Like I said, I've got the wrong ones, but it doesn't matter. It all looks pretty good. You just gotta make sure that you uh, sand off the black off the edges before you put them on. Like I said, make sure you sand all the black off these. They're a bit small, but just a little bit of sandpaper and just make sure it's all off, otherwise they won't stick and they won't look very good when they're varnished. There we are, all finished. I think it looks pretty good. Just a bit of glue to wipe off. And, uh, I think it looks quite good with the smaller shelves in the middle. Okay, so now we'll start fitting some stuff out on the decks with the uh, doors and the steps as per the plan and the bell and don't forget to look at both plans. So we'll start with the deck, the bulkhead by the quarter deck there, the stanchions above.
once you've marked and cut these pieces for these um, railings, these stanchions, it's uh, better sometimes to glue them, glue them first before you put them on the model. With this one anyway, it's a bit of a fiddly place to get to. Okay, so we've moved on a little bit from previous. We've got the uh, stanchions and the rail put in position here. I've also done the one on the foredeck, or two on the foredeck. These two, um, we can now go on to do some more detailing on the deck. I have started on back bulkhead here. Uh, I put in the, the steps in there. Um, but there's something else. Um, there's doors on all these. Um, I've made those up. They're basically just um, these are pre-cut. On the uh, on the laser board, laser printed boards, laser cut boards, and then all you do is laminate them like that, and then cut cut the edges off. I don't need to show you all that, but that's that's how they come out. It's laminated on one side and the plane on the other. But as for the furniture that goes on them, I wanted to show you something because um, on the Victory. All the eye bolts and everything else are all in brass, but I've got this stuff, um, which is antiquing fluid. And personally, I think it gives a better, a better look. So the furniture we've got are these hinges, which we need to cut out. And some tiny, tiny little eye rings. I don't think you're going to see these. I can focus on that. And maybe back there. There we go. So, tiny little drop of fluid in here. And we'll just drop these in. Expensive this stuff. I'll put a link in the uh, description below. Of course, it'll be an affiliate link. What else? But it's uh, it's good stuff. There we go. That should do them. Now you need to just give them a good rinse off in some fresh water. Tricky to get out. So there we go, that's the hinges on. Okay, so now I'll, 
have a go at doing these door knobs. I've bent one. Just need to bend the bend them over at right angles. Like that. So now we've got those ready, we just need to drill a little hole for them. But this is a 0.6 of a millimeter drill bit. Always useful to have one of these little hand drills. Very easy. And there we go. Now we just need to push one of the door handles through. Nice and square. There we go. Looks much better in the black rather than shiny brass. Okay, so we've got the door handles on, sanded off the back. We're now looking at doing the door frames. That's part of the drawing. I'm doing the top bit first and the easiest way of doing that is to put a couple of pins in to hold the door, soak the wood, bend it round, split a little bit on the top there, I'll sand off and then glue it and pin that let it dry. So we'll just do this one. find the wood bends one way easier than the other. This is very thin but it does actually bend that way better. Just a little bit of glue. This has gone off a little bit this glue so it'll set in quicker. It'll do for this purpose. It's just a matter of pinning one side, don't go through the wood, same with the doors, don't actually go through the wood and then work it round and pin the other side. rounds on and then we'll be ready for sticking on the model. So we got the doors made, got the frames put around them, square ones on the round topped one. We're ready, I've got the sides of the, of the sides of the helmsman's binnacle made. You notice they're slightly they're not square. Just to follow the line of the uh, bulkhead. So you need to be careful when you're assembling this, which way up, which way around you get these. And then for the other detail on the decks, we need to assemble the steps. They are actually stairs, like stairs, steps. And on that side, you can see them there sloping down as well. And there, there, and there. So they are in the kit. And it's these bits here. So to cut these to length, you get two sides out of one of these, cut them to length, and then what I do is just glue these into one side, like this. 
there and just put all those in. We'll come to length first and then dub the glue on the top and put the other side on and then lay it flat and make sure that one side is all pressed down so they're all level and then just pinch them and make sure they're square and I've always wanted to say this here's one I prepared earlier both sides done those stuck them in stuck the door on there you didn't need to see me doing that so I'll carry on with these stairs um, they go obviously on this bulkhead um, with another door and there's another door on the front I think and to get into the, uh, the bow so I'll finish all those and then we've got some um, stanchions and railings to put on the top here and the bell that's got to go on there as well and then we'll see where we go from there coming on so that's got everything in place um, that we're going to do in this video i've got the uh, the bell on there and the uh, railings at the top there all the steps in place uh, you can see there the bell doors all fitted in the bow there as well and the steps those steps are the same as the ones going up onto the quarter deck so you can put those on easy enough um, so you should be able to get to that stage pretty easily now and it's starting to look like a ship I'm quite pleased with that coming on quite nicely um i did i if you noticed, if you are building this, I know some of you are, um, I skipped past the rudder and there was a very good reason for that and that was to get the um, brass aging fluid that I told you about because um, I don't want the hinges looking bright, it's alright for the bell to be bright brass but for the hinges to be that it takes away from it because they were never that colour. So uh, that's why I postponed. So in, in the next video, we'll do the rudder, and then we've got the uh, helmsman's binnacle to do that bit at the back with the grating on the front of it, and we've got the other gratings and um, covers to do as well. Uh, plus, any more we get done, and uh, yeah, coming on very nicely. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already quite a few videos now this is video 12 um, I had a look back the other day um, yeah it's come a long way since we started looking forward to getting it finished yeah subscribe and then you'll get to see the next one bye for now